In the last few years, inconsistency seems to be the recurring theme for the Orange, and once again coach Jim Boheim and the Orange will head into the season with something to prove. With nine returning players this season and half of the team being underclassmen, Syracuse is faced with a disadvantage in lack of experience. Two of the team's presumed top players this season, Tyus Battle and Matthew Moyer, are both returning sophomores. Moyer did not play last season, but still considers himself a veteran on the team and leader on the floor. It surprised a lot of people when Moyer decided to redshirt his freshman year. But he stands by the choice, saying that the experience humbled and prepared him for this upcoming season. Someone who will definitely be looking to battle and Moyer to ease his transition into the program is freshman forward, Marek Dolazic, hailing all the way from Bratislava, Slovakia. The 2017-2018 season marks the first time the program has directly recruited a foreign player outside of North America. He's an American kind of player. He doesn't play as much like a European as some typical big guys, where they can just shoot outside, Coach Bohane said. He can put the ball on the floor, drive, active player, rebounds it, jumps well, pretty good shooter. Not as good as most European big guys, but a pretty good shooter. But he works hard at the game. He understands the game. While not a returning Syracuse player, University of South Florida graduate transfer Gino Thorpe brings a lot of experience. Thorpe led us in a number of categories including scoring, 15.1, assists, 4.6, steals, 1.6, minutes played, 33.0, free throw percentage 0.846, and starts, 27. He was also tied for second in three-pointers made, 39. Thorpe spent half of his undergraduate career at Penn State and then transferred to us for his junior and senior year. On Thorpe, Boheim said that he is a good defensive player and the team has the potential to be better defensively as a whole this year. Freshman forwards Ashi Brissett, Marek Dolazic, and Barama Sidib are all over 6'8 and bring a lot of height off the bench for the Orange. Boheim also spoke to what the team had done over the summer in preparation for the upcoming season. Freshmen were in Syracuse for both sessions this summer, which is rare, and coach Boheim believes the players in team are ahead because of that. He also points to the improvement of a number of his players from last year. Boheim believes Battle worked extremely hard over the summer and is a lot stronger, more physical and more confident in his position on the floor and on the team. Following a slow start to his freshman season, Battle ended it averaging 11.3 points per game while shooting 43%. Another familiar face stepping back onto the court this year is junior guard Frank Howard. He was the Orange's starting point guard for 14 games last season before losing his starting position to graduate John Gillen. Howard started the season averaging 6.8 points and 6.0 assists per game before falling to 2.6 points and 1.8 assists in the latter part. While his performance was clearly suffering, it was unbeknownst to the public that he had been playing much of the year injured. Howard had torn four core muscles that required surgery during the offseason. Now healthy again, Howard is expected to play a big role for the Orange this season and take back his starting position. Boheim speaks to returning junior Howard when he said, he works hard, he's getting better. We'll see what he can do. I think he's improved. I think he's shooting the ball better. He was a little rusty. Obviously he didn't play this summer. I don't think that hurt him that much cause he's had plenty game experience, but I think that he's a much better player this year at this stage than he was last year. Recounting last year's team and its record, 1915-10-8, Boheim said they were good, but it took too long to get started. He explains they lost early games they couldn't afford to lose. He stressed the fact that the ACC is the best league in the country, and winning 10 games in the conference is no small feat. The Orange have had to work a lot of new players into their system over the years, and with the one-and-done rule currently in effect, it is a fact that everybody relies on young players in college basketball. The team lost so far more forward Tyler Lydon, 
who declared for the NBA draft after last season and went 24th in the first round to the Utah Jazz before being traded to the Denver Nuggets. The Orange will certainly miss Leiden this year. He started all 34 games last season and averaged 13.2 points and 8.6 rebounds per game. The team will definitely be looking to their freshman big men to add height on the floor. Boheim believes this year's team will not be as effective offensively as they have been in the past, especially on the three-point line, where they made 38% of their attempts last season. With such a young and new team, a lot of people have already counted Syracuse out and called this a rebuilding year for the program. Many returning players are setting out to prove everyone wrong, and the new players are looking to prove themselves in the long-standing and successful Syracuse program.